is because NBA front offices and fan bases are suffering from a terrible malady. And that malady is optimism fever. Oh, optimism fever. I've seen it pop up online a few times. Raptor, I, I wouldn't trade Scotty Barnes for Kevin Durant. Jalen Brown for Kevin Durant. Jalen Brown's only going to get better. We were just in the finals. No, you're suffering just like that cough from optimism fever. <laughs> Here is the truth. I went back, Nick, and looked at your top 50 uh, players of the last 50 years. And I just focused yeah. on the top 15. So there, for, for yeah. the sake of the suspense, we couldn't use this graphic because you're still unveiling them on YouTube and the podcast. But the t so then we just. But put we the can guys say who the top five top are. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so don't don't go worry, ahead. my friend. I got it. I got another graphic, yeah. mate. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. So here are the top fifty. In the last forty years, if you want to win a championship, you basically need to have one of these guys on your team. In the last. 40 years, there have only been four teams, let me make sure I have this right, four teams that have won the championship without one of these guys. An all-time great, a legendary top 15 players. The Chauncey's Pistons, the Celtics with KG, which by, by the way, he's number 22nd on your list. The Mavs with Dirk, who is 16 yeah. on your list. And the Raptors with yeah. Kawhi. So the idea yep. that teams won't trade for Kevin Durant because they think they're close to winning a championship. They think if the ball bounces another way, here or there, we could be there. It's not true. At best, it's gonna play out exactly how we saw Warriors Celtics play out, where you have one team with a eh, kind of superstar, should probably be out of club superstar and another star and a solid team and a solid defense and a good coach. And the other team has an all-time great player. And that team wins. So if you're close to winning the championship, man, make the move for Kevin Durant because you are further away from a championship than you think if you're holding on to star players and not going after legendary players, Nick. Make the move. Well, go, Brew, right, go ahead. Wilds, yeah, I, I don't disagree with your premise. It's right. But first of all, anyone who wouldn't trade Jalen Brown for Kevin Durant needs well, their right, head right. examined. Seriously. Get well, on and those we're Celtics not talking. That's the thing. And Scotty, Scotty Barnes for Kevin Durant, it's not just Scotty, Scotty Barnes. It would be, have to be Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam or Scotty Barnes and OG Nobu plus uh, Fred, Fred Van Vliet. Like, here's what's happening, Wilds. Okay, A contending team can't break the bank for Kevin Durant because you got to give up your core. So if, if Phoenix, for instance, gives up Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton, who they don't even want, they're left with Kevin Durant and an old Chris Paul. Is that team winning the championship? Uh, no. All right, if Miami gives up Bam out of Bayou and Jimmy Butler, of, of, I mean, none, neither of those guys is close to Kevin Durant. That's really kind of a fair trade on paper. They're not a contender if you got KD, and old Kyle Lowry and Tyler Hero. And then you go to, so that takes care of the contenders. Then the old, the young teams, the young teams that are bad teams, I should say, like a Sacramento, we joked, oh, they could send him wherever they want. They could send him to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Well, Sacramento knows, you know what? If we gave up, say, De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis for Kevin Durant, and then a year from now, Kevin Durant obviously isn't going to be happy in Sacramento. Yeah. He would want a trade. In fact, I don't even know if he'd wait a year. He might just to be polite and, and nice, but he'd want out of there immediately. So that takes care of a lot of contenders and a lot of That's right. you know, bad teams. And then here's the final thing, Nick. Uh, Durant is 34 years old in September, he'll be. He That's is in, entering his 15th year. He played 90 games over the last three years. 90 games. We get on Kyrie. Kyrie right. played more than Kevin Durant did. And, and here's the kicker. We've seen Kevin Durant in the NBA for 11 years 
without Golden State. Ten of those years, he played with another superstar. Hasn't won a championship. So why, at Kevin Durant, now he's going to do something at 34 that he hasn't done in 11 years when he was younger? So I I think those are all the factors that are weighing into teams not breaking the bank for Kevin Durant. And it's why I think, and and then I've got a list for that I want to show you guys, but I want to address what you said first. It's why I think the Suns and the Pelicans are the two teams in that Goldilocks zone. Because I don't think the Suns would be trading Booker. I think they'd be trading Bridges, Aiton, and every pick they possibly can and swaps in the other years. Not and enough. do I think for a short period of time? Oh well, well, well you say it's not, not enough, enough, but that's going to be we're going to get to that point. Well, I don't we don't know if that's enough or not because we don't know what other offers they have. And they obviously they can't trade for Booker anyway, they meaning the Nets as long as mm-hmm. Ben Simmons is there. Right. I think the Pelicans trade that I've talked about where you would keep Zion, keep CJ, and get an all-star in Brandon Ingram plus a billion picks might be the best they can do. But I want to correct one misnomer out there. Folks keep saying that Kevin Durant is the most valuable trade asset in NBA history. Like, he will be the best player ever traded. But it's just not true because of his age and his his injury history. The well, in modern NBA history. What they're talking about is that they will get the biggest haul that anyone's ever gotten for a player in modern NBA history. Anthony Davis, at 26 years old, when he was guaranteed to sign a long-term contract, was flatly a more valuable trade asset than Kevin Durant is right now. And Anthony Davis, what'd you get? Uh, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, the number four pick, two more first-round picks, and a pick swap. I would argue the Paul George trade that was more valuable than Kevin Durant only because you weren't trading for Paul George. You were trading for Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And they got Gallo, SGA, five first-round picks, and two swaps. The trade that I think is of about equivalent value is when the Nets traded for Harden. And that's about... But then we just but put we can say who the top five top. are. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so don't, don't worry, ahead. my friend. I got it. I got another graphic yeah. made. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. So here are the top 50. In the last 40 years, if you want to win a championship, you basically need to have one of these guys on your team. In the last 40 years, there have only been four teams. I make sure I have this right. Four teams that have won the championship without one of these guys. An all-time great, a legendary top 15 players. The Chauncey's Pistons, the Celtics with KG, which, by the the way, he's number 22nd on your list, the Mavs with Dirk, who is 16 on your list, and the Raptors with Kawhi. So the idea that teams won't trade for Kevin Durant because they think they're close to winning a championship. They think if the ball bounces another way, here or there, we could be there. It's not true. At best, it's going to play out exactly how we saw Warriors-Celtics play out, where you have one team with a eh, kind of superstar, should probably be out of club superstar, and another star and a solid team and a solid defense and a good coach, and the other team has an all-time great player. And that team wins. So if you're close to winning the championship, man, make the move for Kevin Durant because you are further away from a championship than you think if you're holding on to star players and not going after legendary players, Nick. Make the move. Brew, go ahead. Wilds, yeah, I I don't disagree with your premise. It's right. But first of all, anyone who wouldn't trade Jalen Brown for Kevin Durant needs their head examined. Seriously. Get well, on and those we're not talking. That's the boards. thing. And Scotty, Scotty Barnes for Kevin Durant. It's not just Scotty, Scotty Barnes. It would be, have to be Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam, or Scotty Barnes and OG Nobu plus uh, Fred, Fred Van Vliet. Like, here's what's happening, Wilds. Okay, a contending team can't break the bank for Kevin Durant because you got to give up your core. So if, if Phoenix, for instance, gives up Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton, who they don't even want, they're left with Kevin Durant and an old Chris Paul. Is that team winning the championship? No. 
All right, if Miami gives up Bam out of Bayou and Jimmy Butler, of up, up, I mean, none, neither of those.